my goal is to continue that uh, philanthropic work. And uh, I'd love to get to the point where we donate an RV every year to a family in need. Welcome to another episode of Clear Light Connections, where we talk to the people behind the brands of Bay Area Houston. Our podcast is proudly sponsored by UTMB Health. So thank you for that sponsorship. Uh, we're here today with Lauren Monroe of RV uh, USA RV Resorts. Did I get that right? That's right. Okay. Would you please tell us a little bit about RV Resort, USA RV Resorts? Sure. So we are a family owned and operated company that currently has 10 locations with uh, the 11th under construction. We're branded mostly as USA RV Resorts, but also have some RV resorts in the Golden Triangle area. So we have three locations there. And then Seaside, which is in Seabrook, is uh, branded as Seaside. Yeah, I would call it an empire. I mean, I've, I've I, I, we were talking before the podcast about how I, I drive a lot. I work in Pasadena, so I drive by one of your, your locations. I, I commute to take my kids to school. I've driven by a location there. Uh, tell us how all this started. Well, I think empire is a strong word. I, I appreciate that word, but it was actually by accident. So about 15 years ago, we kind of just fell into the industry and have been loving it ever since. So Scott Monroe is our owner. And uh, like I said, a little by a little by accident. And so he's your dad, right? Yes. And so what's it like working with that? It is the most rewarding and challenging thing all at the same time, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm on year seven within the company and um, it's, it's a dream. It's fantastic. So it's really great. And so you said it's family owned. So what's your role or roles? It depends on the, the day. So it depends on the day, which hat I kind of pop on. I guess my official title is project manager. So I guess it just depends what project I am, uh, I'm managing. But um, yeah, recently I'm heading up the culture part of our organization. So we revamped our vision and mission statement, really excited um, to be introducing that. And um, we're gonna do some staff development. And this year we're really focused on our employees and focusing all of our efforts inward which has been really rewarding and fun to do that, so. And so how many people in the area do you employ? It's about 45. Okay, great. Yeah. And so what's been the biggest challenge for, the, for, for you and your staff this last year? It's been an unusual year for everyone, but our team really collaborated together in such a strong way. We came out of it so much stronger, learned a lot. Um, I think just COVID in general, I didn't wanna say that word, but it's, it's an unusual year, but we're glad to kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel. And so how has it affected your business? Have you, have you been doing okay? Has your, your occupancy stayed pretty level? Um, it, was, it was definitely affected for sure. Um, you know, people were a little timid to travel and go, uh, go anywhere vacation wise, but luckily our guests and residents are diversified. So we, um, yeah, it's, it's coming, it's trending back up and we're excited. It's spring break, it's tourism month. So I think people are finally getting a little more comfortable coming out of the lockdown shell and all that good stuff, so. Yeah, and you mentioned Tourism Month and you and I talked a little bit before about it seems like you have a healthy mix of people that consider themselves residents versus, I guess, what you would consider tourists. Yeah, transient people. So it really just depends. We have full-time residents. We cater to a lot in the oil and gas industry, a lot of vacationers, traveling nurses. Um, all of our guests are really diversified and each of our locations kind of have their own personality, right? So this one will have a lot more, you know, residents. We have school bus come to a few of our locations, which is really cool. And some of our people that have been with us have lived in our resorts for over 10 years, wow. which is awesome. So they, it's really, it's really nice. Okay. So tell me, you know, you talk about the culture of each individual park, but really this is part of a bigger, bigger part of Americana. Uh, and that's camping. But before we get into that, we're going to have a quick word from Sherry Sweeney, our Vice President at the Clear Lake Area Chamber of Commerce, with some important announcements. Thank you, Jamison. Hello, Clear Lake Area Chamber of Commerce members and Bay Area Houston. We're starting a new webinar called Education Connections. It's going to bring education leaders and experts to you the second Thursday of every month, and it's going to premiere April 8th, hosted by our Education Division Chairman, an executive director of Communities and Communities in Schools Bay Area, Dr. Peter Wenchel. 
April is going to feature Dr. Laura DuPont, who is the president of Clear Creek ISD Board of Trustees. Just go to clearlakearea.com for more information. Back to you, Jameson. Tell, tell us how, how your resorts fit into that, that American, American tradition of, of camping. Well, it's like the American uh, tradition, but on steroids, right? So it's everything that you could want, you know, kind of the comforts of home, but also being on the road. So just like I said, on-site laundry and gym and, you know, getting able to get out there and explore and camp, so to say, but with all of, you know, your usual comforts. And if you decide to stay a little longer, which we hope you do, um, just extending that, you know, comfort and uh, yeah. Which is your busiest location? Oh, it depends on the month, honestly. It's tough to say which one. They all have been super busy at one point or another. And just depending on, you know, oil and gas shutdowns, the month of the year for travel and vacation, and uh, yeah, all of that. So tell me about what sets you guys apart uh, from a business uh, standpoint. So as a, as a company, I'd like to think that we're, you know, you're home away from home. So it's really nice community, like I was saying before, but... Also, like I said, we are focusing inward this year with our company culture. So we revamped our vision and mission statement. And our objective is to become the luxury RV resort in the area where people want to come, you know, communities want to gather and people want to work all collectively. Um, It's really important that uh, for me as, you know, the owner that people enjoy coming to work every day. So we do some really fun initiatives. Um, our corporate team is phenomenal. Um, it sounds scary, but it's just a fiery five, five sum of women that really run this company, along with Scott, not to <laughs> diminish him. He's totally, he's a very hands-on owner as well. But we have been doing what we call the Shining Star Award. So every month we select a different resort to give that to. And it's kind of like a little rotating trophy that goes around and so you're the Shining Star of the month. So that's been really fun. We introduced that in 2021. And then in 2020, we started doing our kudos. So it's um, communal nomination process that you do and you can nominate an employee. And um, then we kind of draw based on, you know, what uh, what the nomination was for. And you can pick from this little treasure box of different little goodies. And it's been really fun. And so when I found out we were we were going to be meeting with you, I, I checked out your website and that is not your well, and it is your father's RV park in the literal sense, but it's not what people probably think of when they think of RV park. No, and thank you for saying that. We definitely put a lot of our heart and soul in all of our builds um, for each location and really sit down round table and think what people want, you know, and our what really sets us apart is our amenities. So we have everything from, you know, clubhouse, gym, dog washes, um, piers and docks, and it's a really fun place to live. There are many neighborhoods in a sense. and. I know it's people can be shocked and they think of something totally different. And so it's nice to kind of shatter that mold or shatter that preconceived notion of what RVs are. And I know even since I started seven years ago, people, a lot of folks think it's uh, what people do when, you know, you retire and you get in your RV and you go in the country. But um, it's so much more. We've got huge concrete pads that can accommodate several vehicles, golf carts, your huge rigs. And, you know, now those rigs, are anywhere from, you know, the tow behinds to over a million dollars for, you know, huge rigs. And we've got the cute retro Airstream. So it really caters for, you know, to anybody that really wants to DIY their own, you know, little RV to something already fully, you know, move in ready, so to say, in the housing world. So you you said you lucked into it, but somewhere along the line, you guys not only just had the one, but kept going yeah. and, and, and making more. So what do you attribute that success to? Well, the people really make it make this industry so, so rewarding because it's always something different. It's ever changing. And it's it's just the best part, I think, of this industry. And like I said, the diversity is is really nice. And it's shocking, even I know when I started for me, of how diverse it is. Yeah. yeah and, and so do you have a hand in the decorating that, that I've seen at at some of them? I do, luckily. So Seaside w- was the best project to do and really got to make it this tropical, fun vacation, you know, retro vibe. And uh, I love how that one turned out. We have got, um, so not only are we the RV resort, we, some of our locations also have rental cabins or cabanas. 
So there are many houses. They've got full kitchens and stoves, refrigerators, and they can really cater to anybody who just maybe sold their home and are looking for a little, you know, temporary stay between between the closings to vacationers or people that, you know, like that RV, you know, like our resort, but maybe don't have their own rig. So it, it just allows us to accommodate to so many different type of people. Yeah, and, and you talked about all the amenities. I mean, you, you've got great pools. Some of your locations have multiple pools. Yeah. Um, so it's it's a draw, but how do you get the word out about it? So right now we are doing a lot of social media focus, but a lot of it's word of mouth. And our locations are really amazing and really centric to what you're looking for. So if you are looking for a fun Kima vacation, then our Marina Bay location is perfect for that. Or Seabrook, kind of the same thing, but just over the bridge. If you're in oil and gas, where our you know proximity to a lot of the major plants, it's just a quick little three minute truck ride away, you know, from your job. So it makes that commute so much better, um, just for anyone. So location, social media, word of mouth. We've got billboards, um, podcasts. <laughs> um, so it's it's just a nice blend of you know all of it. Yeah, and so I. It, it's kind of remarkable, but, you know, each of these have their own distinct kind of community sense. Yes. What, what, what are some of your favorites that, that you've seen evolve out of this? I love the one where the bus comes to and just seeing those kids pile out and pile in of the bus. Um, our Kima location is also our home office. So you get to see that every day. And that's awesome and amazing. We recently just had a rally. So to see people traveling together again and having that community and traveling the roads and for us to be you know lucky enough to host that group that was at our willow lake location that's awesome and amazing we've got one it's kind of um off the beaten path but our most relaxing one of my favorites in lake cove and it's a lot of older people that just want that quiet lifestyle people will go out there and put their kayak in the lake and fish and um we have a walking club these ladies get together and they walk every day and it's just really neat to see and definitely coming out of the most unusual year, seeing that community be reinstated and, you know, brought back to life has been so rewarding. So it's it's nice to be a part of that and to give people a place to really, you know, come together. And so you and I talked a little bit before uh, about a, a new trend that's emerging, and that's people renting RVs and they can pick them up at one location, but they don't have to drop it off at the same place. So you could have a really nice road trip just within our area and visit all of your resorts. Yes, that's right. So it's definitely shifted into that. And think of it the same way as you would rent a car. You rent it one spot and drop it off in the other. And it just allows you to have that RV experience, maybe with that, you know, not out without doing all of the financial obligation of buying your own or trying it out, testing the waters. So it's nice and, you know, it can accommodate all different, all different types. And so did you Go RVing as a kid at family vacations? Yeah, we did. Okay. So we've and we've had every different RV under the sun and love to go RVing and do different ones. We've had the tow behinds and the drive and it's great. It's the best way to see um, see the country. And I know kind of shifting into uh, travel looks a little different these days to be able to go and do your own thing on your own time and not have any agenda um, is really beautiful. So yeah, the last place I went to visit, I was lucky enough, I went to Big Bend um, and it was fantastic. So you've not only vacationed using an RV, you've turned it into- a, Market research, yeah, right? <laughs> you've turned it into a company and, and, and a growing company at that. Yeah, so every time we get out and get out there, it's really nice and we get to stay at other RV parks and resorts and kind of get ideas. And that's what really kind of evolves and help us evolve into the best place that, you know, we can be because that's our objective. We want to make everyone feel like this is their home and that they want to be here and really be wowed. And so I know it's something that all of our team really take pride in and take really seriously at our jobs. It's like, how can we, you know, be ever improving? And we took this past year of kind of the lull and completely revamped and redid a lot of our locations, which was a lot of fun. So just brought them up to even better and added amenities and remodeled restrooms and common spaces and, you know, added pergolas and sunshades and seating areas for people. And it's, it's a blast. It's really cool. Yeah. And, and I think make sure you visit their website at usarvresorts.com and that the pictures are amazing. There's some great videos of, of a couple of your resorts. And I think it, 
it's hard to describe and and overcome what people expect it to be when they see it though i was it looked really cool well, and, and there's some i i think those cabins are a great idea nice and uh you know that might be my first foray into it cool well so. come on um there's three different locations marina bay and seabrook we'd love to have you as a guest awesome and going back to how we advertise i spaced sorry i was a little nervous but we did a commercial in the last year and had the best time with it and played it on several different outlets. So that was a beautiful, amazing thing to be a part of and really neat. And I think that showcases the team behind that um, really showcased our resorts, how we wanted them to be showcased. So, yeah. But a big thing, and it sounds to me like you hit on it, and that's you really rely on word of mouth. Sure. So you're making sure that everybody's having a great experience so that they tell their uh, RVing those th those people tend to to talk and 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 be in groups. I have several at work, and they're always traveling together. And so yeah. that's probably your best bet, I would think, of 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 getting business is yeah. that word of mouth business. It's that community feel, and we want everyone to leave having a wonderful experience. And I think that's something that really sets our company apart is our customer service. Something we really pride ourselves on. We're constantly finding ways to be better at customer service. Um, a lot of our team, our team is really what makes us. And they are, a lot of them are RVers, RV for lifers themselves. So it's nice that they can, you know, not only lend you a laugh, but also a helping hand if you're new. Mm -hmm. You know, you just bought your rig and you're a little unsure. Um, they're always the first one to jump out and help you plug and play and park and, you know, all of that good stuff. They so, can spot them a mile away, can't they? They can, yeah. Yeah. the newbies. Yeah. So we like to talk a lot about buying the Bay Area, which geographically, obviously, you've done that by, you know, playing on the area's natural beauties and, and what it has to offer. Uh, in, in what other ways do you buy in the Bay Area? For example, your philanthropic work. Yeah, so our philanthropic work, we have this acts of kindness that started in the end of 2020. We were kind of internally giving back to our employees and made the uh, decision to shift that initiative, to make it a proper 501c and kind of shift it outward. Um, my goal is to continue that uh, philanthropic work and uh, I would love to get to the point where we donate an RV every year to a family in need. So that is on my, uh, on my one year kind of plan and goal objective. But anytime that we can buy into the Bay Area, we definitely do. Like I said, the most unusual year, and it has definitely made us recognize even more the importance of buying into small local businesses. We recently had our meeting that any time that we can buy and do something local, anywhere from you know promotional items, food, uh, advertising, building materials, subcontractors, to shop local, we absolutely do because we know the importance of small businesses, and it really makes this entire you know bay area community what it is there's so many cool little honey holes and different awesome places that are you know family family owned and operated and so being that we are also it may not look like that but we're still a small operation ourselves um so anytime that we can buy in locally we absolutely do shop local well, lauren we appreciate it and thank you for buying into bay area yes. and it's been a pleasure yes and uh i i think the takeaways here are, are several it's uh, you obviously have a passion for what you do, and that shines through. Uh, and you really understand that it's your people that make the difference. Absolutely. And not enough businesses invest in their people like you do. So thank you for that. Well, thank uh, you all so much. It's been a pleasure, and let's go RVing. Yes, let's go. Come stay with us. I have this little goodie bag for you. Oh, well, thank and you. And there's a, there's a little happy camper voucher. So come on, come on and, and stay with us. And well, we'd, love to have, uh, we'd love to have you as a guest. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Appreciate it. Great.